Um, <sighs> so, hey guys, uh, starting off, I don't know what I'm doing, like, <laughs> so, I was going through, like, uh, just one of my normal life crises uh, a few weeks ago, and I was like, do you know what? Did you see that car? That car was very close. Um, but anyway, so I was like, I just need to spice up my life, do something different. So I'm going to dye my hair. Um, I know this probably isn't that big of a deal because hair does grow back. So I'm dyeing it platinum blonde and the lady like texted me all these like things about all the risks and stuff of dyeing it platinum blonde. And um, I'm a little sketched out. Uh, whenever I'm nervous for things, I get places really early. So I'm um, 30 minutes early. I'm sitting out front of the place right now waiting. I have never dyed my hair before. I have virgin hair. So uh, this should be very interesting. I'm going to take you guys through the entire process of dyeing your hair. I'm going to try and film as much as I can on my phone but my phone does not record audio if you remember in one of my last videos so i'm not gonna have any audio but i'm just gonna like try and film a little bit of like what's up what's going on with the process all that stuff um of course my grandma's coming with me because i need someone to hold my hand during the whole process duh and um yeah i may be bald um at the end of this we really just don't know yet i really am gonna crap myself. I'm so scared. I'm talking like I'm literally about to get some huge surgery, but no, I'm just uh, dying my hair, so. I've been nervous about this for the past, like, week. It's all I can, uh, really think about. But, yeah, so spicing some things up in my life, and also I think it may take more than one, uh, session to get it to the color that I want, so it might be yellow after this, which I'm not too excited about, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll just see, um, yeah, so I could look like uh, complete trash by the end of this, and it's scary because you guys are going to find out what I look like in literally like a few minutes, and I won't know until a few hours because, uh, yeah. And I know hair does grow back, but it took like years to grow this thing out, and I've really never done anything to it other than cut it, even though you probably can't even tell that I've cut it, but uh, yeah. So I'm getting a few inches cut off, I think, unless I literally am just going through a crisis and decided to have her like cut off like a whole foot, but uh we really don't know, so I'm gonna film a little bit while I'm in there, and then I'll see you guys after. Ooh, I really don't like saying that. But yeah, if you want to see how dyeing virgin hair platinum blonde goes, then just keep watching. Um, oh, God. oh, I don't even know, like, where to start. I, like, there's, I just can't stop looking in the mirror right now. This is so funny. Um, okay, first of all, she did an amazing job. Like, this is, like, white. Like, it kind of looks yellow with this lighting, but it is, like, white. Like, I don't know if you guys can uh, fully tell, but, um, it's freaking white. Oh my gosh. Um, she cut my ends because my ends were getting a little, um, gross, but so I am not entirely sure how I feel about this. I low-key look like, um, Draco Malfoy's dad. That definitely wasn't the look I was going for, but it's just so accurate. That's all I can think of when I look at myself in the mirror, so... 
that's cool. I was just going through a life crisis and I may have, may have just uh, made a mistake that I'm already regretting, but like, I can work with it. I think it looks really cool. The only thing is, if you're thinking about going like white, like this platinum, um, your hair is going to be dry. My hair is so dry it doesn't even feel like my hair anymore yeah so there's that to think about and also i can't use any heat on it at all so that kind of sucks but yeah my hair feels like straw i think it's gonna take me a while to get used to but like dang i think it looks pretty cool yeah if you're thinking about going this color just like think about all your options think about the effects of it and if you're willing to take that on. I know some people might do it differently, so some people may be able to use heat on it. I don't know, but my lady said no heat. Try and wash your hair with colder water. It doesn't have to be, but try to wash it with colder water. You have to use purple shampoo if you want to keep it this white color and not have it turn yellow. And then basically just be super gentle with it because it is really, really fragile, delicate, and dry. And I did get a deep conditioning mask that I'm going to use on it and hopefully that will help but I'm gonna quickly show you guys what it looks like a little 360 view of it because if you guys want to see it all around if you're thinking about doing this color I want you guys to see what it looks like from the back and all the angles and this lighting does make it appear a little yellower but uh, trust me it is completely platinum it is very very white I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it if you guys want to leave your comments below tell me your opinions what you think yes I know it completely um damaged it did damage my hair yeah, yeah, that happened. I just want to know if it looks as decent, if I made a horrible decision or not. Do you know what? Maybe... I, I don't want to know, actually. I'm happy with it, so that's all that matters. <laughs> if you like this video, if you are planning on going platinum, please let me know. Or if you have gone platinum, or if you do have platinum hair, I totally want to know. Let me know your experiences. Give me some tips on how to keep it um, soft and smooth and stay this color. I would love all the help that I can get. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for going through this journey with me. I was really scared to go by myself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.